For just a few dollars, you can get yourself a little whistle, penny whistle, tin whistle, with six finger holes so it plays in one or two keys and makes a beautiful, beautiful sound that you'll enjoy for the rest of your life. I highly recommend getting one of these. This particular one is in the key of D, and most of the ones I'll show you are. It's the most common key, and I recommend that one as well. I have 12 different ones here that, own, that I own myself, and I want to play all of them using the Scottish tune Christmas Day in the Morning to give you an idea of how they vary uh, among what's available these days. These are just some samples. There are others. This one's one of the two different designs. That is, this one is tapered. It's not uh, cylindrical, but it's actually conical in shape. It's made by the Clark Company in England, one of the oldest companies. It's thin metal wrapped around and soldered with a wooden fipple, and it has sort of a rustic woodsy sound. Clark also makes one that costs a little less. It has a plastic fipple designed in collaboration with one of the great builders, Michael Copeland. And they make one called the Clark Mag. And this one is in the key of C. It's a little bit lower. And the tapered one that is the most expensive among the ones I have is my Shaw, and they make them in many different keys, uh, which is one major advantage, and it's a different kind of metal, a little more attention to detail. One advantage of this kind uh, of thin-walled one is that you can adjust the wind way by crimping different ways to get different voicings on the sound. The other design is a cylinder, as I mentioned earlier, and this is the most common one you'll see. It's a generation in the key of D. It looks a little toy-like, and you can get them in just about any music store, but don't let that fool you. They're played by some of the greatest groups, like the Chieftains of Ireland. Generation also makes nickel-plated ones. I like this sound a little bit more, personally. In the key of C, I have an oak, a different company with a similar design. And one in the key of D from Ireland by the Feodog Company. My sister brought this back from Ireland. The Walton's Company is found in many different places. This is one of their models called the Melody. Melody. Walton's also makes other varieties. This is a thin aluminum one called the Little Black Whistle. Now, in America, there's a company called Susato that ha makes tunable cylindrical whistles, and they have them in just about every key possible. And they're a little bit more expensive, but they have uh, lots of they're very even toned throughout the range. And last, but certainly not least, is the one I play the most. This is, is available in tunable versions, but this particular one isn't. It's a Chieftain by Phil Hardy of England. It's made of thicker aluminum and handcrafted, and has one of the strongest uh, bird-like tones. So I'm going to play a little more of the tune with this one.
why don't you go out and get yourself a whistle? <laughs>